Established by the Spanish in 1531 along the main route leading from the port city of Veracruz to Mexico City, Puebla was colonial Mexico's principal city. In appearance, Puebla is the most European of all Mexico cities that date from the colonial era. El Zócolo is Puebla's central square, a rectangular site of colonial Mexican cosmopolitanism. Bordered by arcaded walkways, it is anchored on one side by Puebla's sprawling cathedral. Puebla's Cathedral, dedicated to the Immaculate Conception, is a treasure of colonial art. Rising to a height of 69 meters, its bell tower is the tallest in Mexico. Completed in 1664, its facade in dark gray quarry stone is in the sober mannerist style. The pillars around the plaza in front of the cathedral are surmounted by angels, the symbol of the city of Puebla. Built in the Renaissance and Baroque styles, it was consecrated in April 1649 by the Bishop of Puebla. The cathedral's dark stone exterior is severe, but its splendid interior is surpassed only by Mexico City's cathedral. The 14 side chapels of the cathedral's interior house many artistic gems. The cathedral's altar mayor, or main altar, is octagonal in shape and was built in 1797 by Manuel Torsa. The choir, an exquisite example of the mudeja or Moorish style, is decorated with inlaid wood in eight different colors. Housed in a 17th century building that was once the residence of Bishop Juan de Palafox y Mendoza, the state-funded Casa de Cultura offers numerous workshops in the visual and performing arts. Its magnificent second-floor library, founded by Palafox in 1646, should not be missed. A vast room holding 50,000 volumes, it features carved cedar bookshelves, red tile floors, and reading tables decorated with onyx inlays. A stroll through Puebla's streets reveals a wealth of lovely colonial-era buildings adorned with charming details and colorful tiles. Every so often, a glimpse of an elegant courtyard can be had. Puebla is a very Catholic city, even for Mexico. There are so many churches and former convents that most poblanos have difficulty keeping them all straight. The town's full name is actually Puebla de los Angeles, or People of the Angels. The Amparo Museum, inaugurated in 1991, is considered one of Latin America's most important museums. It is housed in two interconnected 16th and 17th century colonial era buildings with their various interior courtyards.
The walls of the large entrance hall are adorned with a fine reproduction of petroglyphs, as well as a painting by Diego Rivera from 1952. The first of the museum's eight rooms displays a wealth of artifacts from the pre-Columbian period. Pre-Columbian monoliths, masks, effigies of deities, and various tools of Mixteca, Zapoteca, Maya, and Omeka origin, among other pre-Hispanic cultures, are exhibited in its rooms. A large and exceptional collection of Mezcala stone figures from the proto-classic period of Mayan civilization are approximately 2,000 years old. The museum's other building contains a series of rooms which displays a superb collection of the finest colonial art and furnishings from all over Mexico. The museum is also home to other interesting collections, including various exquisite religious paintings and the private collection of a wealthy Mexican banker named Manuel Espinosa Iglesias. The Palacio Municipal, which stands on the north side of the Zocolo, was completed in 1906. The hewn stone Renaissance-style facade, with its ionic columns and triangular gables crowning the windows, stands out from the surrounding buildings. The building is an example of the Franco-Spanish Renaissance style, typical of public architecture in Mexico, under the presidency of Porfirio Diaz. The building has two floors topped by a central attic, which has a public clock and tower on each end. The Church of Santo Domingo was originally part of a Dominican monastery completed in 1611. Its facade of grey-hewn stone in the stark classical style features three Doric columns. The fine Baroque elements in stucco that adorn the more conventional facade can be appreciated from the church's spacious atrium. Inside, the impressive Capilla del Rosario, or Rosary Chapel, was built in 1690. Attributed to Pedro Maldonado, it was dedicated to the Virgin of the Rosary. The Capilla del Rosario is one of the most elaborately decorated chapels in Mexico, a Baroque masterpiece in gold leaf and plaster. Along the walls, grotesque heads spew golden vines whose tendrils twist and twine to form the frames of six paintings depicting the mysteries of the rosary. The Biblioteca Palafoxiana, founded in 1646 by Bishop Juan Palafox, is housed on the first floor of the splendid old Archbishop's Palace. It contains a Baroque altarpiece, along with oil paintings representing the Virgin of Trapana and St. Thomas Aquinas. The library's museum was designated an historical monument of Mexico by presidential decree because of its extensive collection. 
It houses 43,000 volumes in languages such as Hebrew, Latin, Sanskrit, Chaldean, and Greek on topics including philosophy, theology, and canon law, among others. The library holds many invaluable texts, such as the Nuremberg Chronicle, which dates back to 1493. It also houses volumes such as the Christian Doctrine, the Ortelius Atlas, and the Polyglot Bible. The convent of La Concepcion was home to the wealthy religious order of the Conceptionist Claris from 1593 until 1861. Its buildings reveal a notable influence from Spanish architectonic styles fused with elements from the Viceroyship era of the 17th century. The arches, fountains, and vaults that adorn the convent are made of rock, stucco, and mortar and have been almost perfectly preserved. The Casa de los Muñecos houses the University Museum. This building combines various elements that are typical of 18th century Baroque architecture in Puebla, including stonework, brick, tile panels, mortar and ironwork. The Autonomous University of Puebla acquired the ancient residence in 1983. Renovations were undertaken to preserve the house's original structure while transforming its rooms for use in exhibiting the museum's collection. The University Museum's collection, including more than 200 paintings from the colonial era, along with various scientific instruments and appliances, is exhibited in the lecture rooms and laboratories of this academic facility, originally founded by the Jesuits. Puebla has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1987.